this was y'all had a, a few episodes with uh Brother Rich. Well, I was, was only on one with Dr. B Serious. I was on two with Dr. Valentine. Well, no, it was probably that one because it was definitely definitely Dr. B. Uh, he was saying something about the penicillin, like in the uh in the in the penitentiary system, like the urine and the in the menstrual blood that uh regardless the gender uh of the of the the penitentiary or whatever place that people was be held at, but they collect that and they take that gold because I didn't even know it was gold until it was Dr. B that said it. He, he said that we, we got gold, like liquid gold that be coming from our body. So they do that even in like the counties and stuff too. They do different stuff. They had a big uh, uh, pharmaceutical experiment they did, I think in like 90 in Cook County with HIV medications. Mm. They was they was forgiving cases for people that participated. Wow, that's some shit. Inclu including some murder cases, but you don't know what you what the medication gonna do to you. Right, you a puppet at that point, mm -hmm. dummy dog type shit. Yeah, yeah. fucking guinea pig. Because yeah. they using you to determine what the, what the medication gonna do. You know, and they didn't just do it at Cook County; they did it in several of them. You know, Rikers, they did, was doing it in California. They was doing it all over the place. Using the inmates as guinea pigs. Well, to this day, we don't even have a full accounting of it because we haven't uncovered all of the records yet. Yeah, for sure. Hey, can you uh, do me a favor, uh, brother? I was going to say, send me send me an email of yours. I got Because I'll I be on the music shit, too. I, be saying, I see you on here freestyle and shit, but yeah, I, I, I got some shit I want you to hear. I got some shit I want you to listen to. Okay, look, send me a message in Messenger so I know who I'm sending it to. I got you. I got you right now, family. Appreciate the, the insight. All right. I'll talk to you later. Hey, love, brother. Love. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? Lighting up um, the screen. I know. Check a light. <laughs> Anyways. Um, the magnetic smile is what it is. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Um, I said that's California. Uh, California. Cali in the house. What part? Yeah. Uh, I'm from the Valley, so. Okay, Valley girl. Oh, my God. Well, I'm not really from there. I was born in uh, Kansas, but I moved out here when I was, like, nine. It's okay. It's the same thing. <laughs> you just made it your home to nine years later. Right. Um, I was really calling because, like, I was interested in numbers. A lot of numbers in my family pop up, like um, we have shared birthdays or even like my son, he was born on Martin Luther King's uh, birthday and my grandfather, the same year that he was born, died on the same day that Martin Luther King died. And so I just kind of like want to know connections or how that kind of stuff works. I'm just a little lost. Okay, so Martin Luther King is your son's birthday. Yeah. And the day Martin Luther King died, your f father crossed over? My grandfather, yeah. Your grandfather. Mm -hmm. How old was your son when your grandfather crossed over? Um, so that was in April, so about four months, maybe three or four months. Yeah. So it's a, it could be several different things. Your son, your grandfather, can be telling you your son is going to be a chief, mm. right? Or uh -huh. he can be telling you that he's going to come back through your son. Interesting, because I didn't have that much of a con uh, relationship with him, so mm -hmm. we don't uh, have I to. Just... He, he he can sense the like. For instance, what he's looking for to come back. We all look for the same thing: the purest-hearted person in the family, or the person that we love the most. Mm -hmm. If he wasn't looking for the one he loved the most, he could have been looking for the one with the purest heart. And if his energy is drawn to you. And your energy keeps sending the good hearted energy back. It's okay, I can I can live with this. I can be hurt, grandson. Yeah. I think I, I feel that a little bit actually. I feel that like the pure heart thing, um, because I'm in my family, I'm the one I'm kinda like the black sheep, but also the one that kinda wanna get everyone together and reunite, like kind of thing. So So I as the black sheep, that's your job. The reason you the black sheep, cause you the you're the most loved, most respected, the, the despised and rejected. 
Yes, I heard. Yes. Like you don't quite fit in with none of them, but they all give you your just do. Mm -hmm. They like to talk, but at the end of the day, they can't really say much. Cause I, I just, I don't know. I just keep. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> right. So when we move into the family, we don't know that the more family members that love us rank us higher in the family. Mm, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, so this how you know when you go to Big Mama house, mm -hmm. all of them people they love the shit out of Big Mama. That's why they there. That's right. why when she gone and cross over, we be fucked up. Family don't quite get along the same if she don't leave an immediate successor that'll pull it all together right then. Mm -hmm. right. See, and I feel like that because I I'm telling you, I'd be trying to get people on the right page, and they're like, "Oh, you're mean, you're." You're judgmental, but I, I come with them with love, but they don't see the love. They only want to see the fact that I'm pointing out they wrong, not pointing out they wrongs, but just trying to get, make them more aware and to do the self work. Like that's but. the problem. Don't nobody want to do the work, so they're not mad at you. They're mad that you revealed the fact that they got work to do. Mm -hmm. See, they're not really rebelling against you because they need that. Because everybody who yes men around them don't want to achieve shit. You want the person that's going to not go along with the bullshit and tell you to do what's right. Right. Right? So they might come across as being mad, but in the end, they respect you more. Because you told them. That's true. That's true. Oh, and to go back to the birthdays again. So I actually share another birthday with um, one of my grandfathers, uh, great-grandfathers who passed away. And when I was a child, I actually seen like a figure of his body like in the middle of the night like I woke up as a kid and he was walking around and I was terrified but at the same time like I couldn't say nothing couldn't scream anything like that I just kind of went back to sleep like this ain't happening <laughs> I don't <laughs> it was scary it was a little okay, scary so how are you related to him uh, so that would be my grandmother that would be her father your grandmother whose mother is she your mother or father's my, uh, paternal my dad's mm-hmm so you're a daddy's girl. So you, he probably, he probably was telling you who you came back as. Oh, him. Okay. And yeah. we were staying in his house too, because he had built that house that we were in. It's, and they and it's, it's another thing it could mean too. It could mean that he was selecting you to come back, so he might be your son. Okay. Which would also show why your other grandfather want to be his son. Okay. Right. Wait. So, okay. So say that one more time. We will also explain if your son is your great grandfather, mm -hmm. right? Your father might have held him in high esteem, or your grandfather that passed, right? Mm -hmm. And he seen he came back through you because you was a pure in heart, and he said, "Well, I want him to be my dad." Okay. So that would explain why he would want to come back as your grandson. Yeah. He hit, he, so he hitting a, a double whammy. He's getting a good father and a good grandma. That's what's up. That is what's up. <laughs> that's how you clean, that's how you cleaning up the, the the family curses by recognizing who the elders is when they come back, because we supposed to be making it, um, getting rid of all of the grievances that they left for us to clear up so that they could come back in a prosperous life in the future. That's why we have to go back to the matriarchy, because the matriarchy is predicated on the children living their best life and becoming their best self. Right. It just so happened that the women is the first teachers and the first educators of the child. Even if mm -hmm. the father there, the chemical interaction during the breastfeeding transfers more information in one breastfeeding, then the father can transfer in a whole year. Mm -hmm. Right? So mm -hmm. you tell him you're talking to his immune system, his digestive system, you're talking to his blood network. As you nourish the child, you're not just giving him nourishment, you also downloading the files. That's why they discourage us from breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. Always trying to chop titties off and shit. Right. Right, most of the time it's not necessary. Now they got it so where they can chop the titty off because you got you might be a potential candidate to possibly one day 
come up with breast cancer in the future. That's not a good enough reason to chop the titties off. Really not. That's not. But they actually have people that's getting genetically tested and cutting their breasts off like a goddamn fool. Right. That's the creation of the holy places. Hysterectomy and mastectomies. Right. The hysterectomy, that's going up now, especially in younger um, people, like in their 20s and up. Mm -hmm. They're getting more. Yeah, they're still in the uteruses so they can put them in men. Mm. So they got to tell the girls something wrong with their healthy uterus. If, right. the pH, if the pH balance is alkaline in the vagina, you can't get, you can't contract disease. But when you not not properly taking care of the yoni and it becomes acidic, it becomes the rest haven for all type of disease. My um grandmother right now actually is going through um uterine cancer, and so um I, I feel like it has to do with her diet mostly. But um yeah, it's they they actually just took out her um her uterus. Yeah, they, they couldn't wait to do that shit. No, they couldn't. They did it right away. So the first, it was like she went in. The next session, they're like, "Oh, they're making the the plans to do the surgery." Basically, mm-hmm. Let it have been colon cancer. They just sent her through all kind of shit before they took the cancer out. No, I believe it. Yeah, I totally believe it. But yeah, that was all I was asking is about the numbers and stuff. Um, like it's it's even deep. Like where we have uh, family members who passed away. And then, like a child was born on their their birthday and on the day that they died too, so it's it's real deep in, in my family. And I'm like the only one who seemed to notice, like who took the time to notice it. Like, right, but see, you probably the one who's tasked with restructuring the family, so you had to notice that, so you know who came back where. Right. When your birthday? April 18th. What's your saying? Aries. Aries, yeah, fire, ram, yeah, the high priestess. Yep. Don't I don't play no games. <laughs> I already know my mama was an Aries, so you ain't even got to tell me. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. 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 Vitamin C also <laughs> killed cancer. Um, they had a study where if they give you um. Um, IV drips. I think it was a thousand cc's of vitamin uh, C that it immediately starts to kill the cancer. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's one of the things that oncologists is complaining about because they're not going to ever okay a, um, a vitamin or mineral to treat a disease because then they can't charge right, a certain make- amount of money. Right. And Chemotherapy, if you give it to a healthy person, give them cancer. Radiation to a healthy person can give them cancer. So right. how can how can you explain to me to give cancer causing agents to cure cancer? Right. right? So they make it sound good because the healthy cells grow back faster than the cancer cells, and they got to kill off enough cells to kill all the cancer cells. That's radiation therapy. Mm-hmm. Right. Chemotherapy is a whole nother animal. Um, where they use all of those drugs in your veins. That's what she's going through right now is chemo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's sad. I'll be looking at it. She don't even look the same. I don't even know what to say. I just be like, I just make sure to spend time with her and um, you know, kind of get that little bit of information she do got know about the family so that I can have it. And that's about it. That might just be your job to spend time with her and absorb much family knowledge as you can. Because she's like the only one I have too right now. I, I, both, both of my grandparents on both sides were not, or uh, the males were not in my uh, my life so as much as they probably should have been. But yeah. Mm-hmm. And actually, I just found out my great grandpa was part of the Drifters, and yeah, so that was interesting. And this was us crossing the land to go fight in the wars and trying to return back home. Those were the drifters. Mm. No, nomads on their homeland trying to find where the earth is calling them to. Sometimes it takes two or three lifetimes to get it right. So my um check my live will end in a minute. Okay. So it was good seeing you have you on here brightening up the the live for the people that's watching because they might get tired <laughs> of looking at my ugly face. 
You're silly. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, thank you so much. All right, I hope I answered all your questions for you. You did, thank you. Okay. Don't, you know, use the idiot box for purpose this time. Because they're going to start telling you when people start walking off their job in masks, because it's going to happen. They're going to either do it on their own or they're going to be triggered by source. I got another good one for you. I got, I got it rolling. We got the next question is coming from the brother Love, a.k.a. Rhythm Solar. Can Rod Hayes speak on the Barry Perry gland? And who it's going to, uh, or who are developing it, I guess is what he's saying. The baritary gland. <clears throat> so when we had the baritary gland, we was operating on what's known as the old mammal brain. We were operating with what's called the new mammal brain now. The baritary gland was removed, but we able to do just as much now with the pineal gland in the, in the new mammal brain, what they call the neocortex or the new cortex or the new portion of the brain that we did with the baritary gland. We just have to learn how to do the exercises to increase the functions, airbender, firebender, waterbender, earthbender, etherbender. <clears throat> and so once you understand what all of this stuff is entailing, then um, um, the baritary glands main function was psychic sight, psychic intuition, psychic vision. But um, that was like the second eye of the third eye, fourth eye. So when uh, Paul talked about the barrier gland, he talked about how they maimed us, right? That was called cutting you off from the tree of knowledge because the pineal gland sit in the uh, mother's side, right hemisphere, and the barrier gland used to be on the, in the hippocampus on the lower left hemisphere, and it used to arc that way in order to pass messages from left brain to right brain and higher facilitated thought. <clears throat> okay, okay, that's good, that's good. The next question we have is from brother Marcus Marquez Corey. Can you tell us more about the reunion with the higher self and the lower self, brother? Well, Mainly what it is, is shadow work. The union with the higher and lower self is called uh, becoming one with your holy guardian angel is one term. Another term is purification of the soul. Um, they say the purification of the soul is to purify the ego so that the soul can merge with it, right? All this is is part of, it's just another way of telling you about your awakening from the slumber of a Kali Yuga that was done as a conjure. Okay. The next question we got, cause we rolling, they rolling. The next question is from the brother Maurice Coopy. Can Rod Haynes speak on "I am the I am America" map? I don't know. I see what map you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know what, what map it is, neither, uh, Maurice. Uh, the I am. I, I wonder. If, I wonder if you're talking about the new map where they show the Mississippi River with 50 miles wide. And parts of, uh, you know, uh, it was a beach in Corsicana, Texas. Atlanta had a beach, you know, with the water coming up. I guess that's what he's talking about. We say the I Am America map. The new map of the whole layout after the ice capsules melt. Um, the polar caps, I don't see them melting to the magnitude within the next 100 to 200 years. You got to keep in mind, the sun cycle was going to last for 6,000 years, and it's going to be hot. Right, and the temperature is going to gradually increase, and we're going to be walking around in this shit, and it's going to be um, like marshy, tropical, humid around the world. Like if you look right now, the rivers is drying up in the grasslands, but they're springing up in the deserts, flooding the deserts. The floods are happening in the deserts. You got to look at this stuff because it's important. The deserts and the dry areas of the earth is where the floods is happening. What's the side effect of flooding where all of the earth is barren and dry? What's the side effect of that flood? The side effect of the flooding is it brings in sediment with the waters. The sediment becomes fertile soil. So 
the reason the, the waters is moving is a reorganization of resources by Mother Earth in order to bring back life where the life was lost. It's all symbolism playing out in a natural way. And we can read the symbolism by understanding the hieroglyphic of the matter. And then you can understand the science of it, right? So when they used to talk about the flooding of the Nile, and they used to take the soil from the Nile to make the gardens, right? And the gardens are still in the desert. But before that, Sahara Desert used to be tropical until they redirected or rerouted the Nile in order to fill in that 